Today we're going to create a mask using an outline. You have an option of doing this in Inkscape using an outline or you can do it on paper using an outline. Right now I'm going to show you how to do it using Inkscape. Are we going to go to the Art CMS? You're going to go down to Tutorials and we're going to do the Tutorials Visual Art Lessons. Click on that link, then you're going to go down to the very bottom of the page where you have your downloads. And under your downloads, your very first one is going to be your mask outline. Click on it. And once it opens up, just copy image, go to Inkscape, and you want to paste. I guess try to put it in the center of the page. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can do so. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Then I'm going to come down while this, while I have this selected with the move tool. This is the move tool or the selection tool, move or selection tool. And this right here will be your edit paths. Those are the two you're going to use for this assignment along with the pen tool or the Bezier curves and straight line, which I call this my pen tool. All right, now you have this selected. Go down to opacity. It should be a hundred. And we are going to take this down to about 25. Could have just typed it in. All right, now we're going to go to the pen tool. And then I'm going to click right here. Try to get in the center on one side. Click. Then I'm going to let go of the mouse, then I'm going to just move it up without dragging it to the very top. Then I'm going to press down. Once I'm, once I'm at the top, I'm going to uh, click the mouse, hold it, and then you're going to drag it. Don't let go. This is when you're going to drag, making those curves. And once it's even with the outline, I'm going to stop. Let go of the mouse. Then, since it's already curving down, go ahead down, go down the side of the mask, and go slowly and try to get that red to match up. Perfect. Then I'm going to click. I don't need to drag this time, so I'm just going to click. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom. Do not drag this. Just Move the mouse to the bottom. Then you're going to click. And then you're going to drag. Do not let go. Once you click, you never ever want to let go. Once you click, you want to keep going. To get that curve. Try to get it this line straight. Perfect. Then I'm going to go ahead back up to the top. And then you're going to click. And if you need to drag it in, which you probably need to do. So I'm just going to go back to where I started at and just leave it there. That's good enough. Then we're going to come down and like we did in other assignments, you need to make the line thicker. So I'm going to right click on that one for the stroke. And I'm going to select probably, I'm going to make it thick, so I'm going to do eight. I would say do between, you could do two, four, six, eight, you just pick a number that you like uh, because your screen, your line may be thicker than mine because these are different versions and different computers so then I can click here in the middle try 
trying to move this off. Right, so I'm trying to move this off, the one that we copy and paste. Need it anymore, so I'm gonna just hit delete. Back on the mask. And now you have your creative freedom to make your own type of mask. So I'm gonna use the pen tool. Gonna come up to a point, then I'm going to curve. Supposed to do that. I'm gonna come here. Then I want to make a curve. Then you come back to the edit pass. Make this line thicker first. Then you can play and give it the shape you want for your eye. I'm going to delete one of these. I don't need them. I only need half four. All right, I like this, and I'm going to go and make my line thicker. Then I can right click, duplicate, not delete. Drag this apart and then I'm going to flip. Take it back and make sure they about the same. So a little bit. Now you can come in and design your mask. Now if you want to put a line in the middle. And then I'm going to go back to my selection tool and select, hold the shift key and select all of these lines I just did. And I'm gonna make them thicker. Then if you want to use the edit paths, you can change them up by making them curve. You can keep playing with it. You're also allowed to go in and use shapes as well. Probably need to take the opacity because it's light. So opacity is going to be 25. I want 100. And 
this is what I want to see you guys doing actually playing with this and you can go do the edit paths and because you only have four, three of these you're gonna need to go up to path object to path and this will enable you to really go in and edit So you can actually play with these to reshape. You can come inside the eyes, come in the face. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna hit the selection tool, select the face, and then you can if you want to add some color to your mask. This is what I want to do in individual sections inside of it. Then you probably want to do that. I guess these two are connected, so. You just go ahead and have fun with making your mask, being creative. And if you decide to use something like a star, you can do a star. And if you want to make it into a triangle, you must go up to the star and just change it to three corners. So you can change it to whatever shape you want by adding more corners to it. So you can use any of these two polygons or the star to make different types of shapes by just changing up the number. If you want to add any of these to your mask, just want to let you know that. And that's it. Have fun. And when you finish, when you finish, please hit save. Give it a name besides that. Let me call it mask. And then I'm going to do the export for you guys. It's going to be export PNG. And then you come over here, you must hit page. You must hit page and make sure it's on your account. And if it says PNG, then just hit export. Okay. Well, always when you do export PNG, always hit page. Then you can hit export. And that's it.